Yeah, yeah look, uh, today I just, uh, just like to just listen to what the uh, program is in place. Uh, you know, we're doing a bit more of a deeper dive into the MSME sector. Uh, but clearly there's, uh, there's opportunities in that area. I mean, because of COVID, I think they've pulled back a bit on some of the initiatives. Uh, so, you know, we just need to have a look at uh, what's in the coffers and and try and uh, invest more in that space. Eh? At, uh, uh, you know, it augurs well with uh, youth and uh, women of Fiji, so you know, it's a great, a great opportunity if we can uh, continue to work in that area, invest in that area. Yeah. I'd like to firstly thank the Deputy Prime Minister for making available his time uh, during a weekend when everyone uh, should be with the family, but uh, we had a team of about uh, um, 15 directors and trade commissioners that were eager to meet with uh, the new minister, the deputy prime minister. So we had a good comprehensive briefing on the overview and the portfolios of the ministry, which are nine in total. <coughs> Some of them will go out. Um, we have to commend the deputy prime minister's patience and uh, attention span. We held him for three hours and there was a a lot of uh, backwards and forwards and trade commissioners dialed in from um, Sydney, Shanghai and San Francisco um, also had their conversations with the Deputy Prime Minister. So all in all it was a good positive meeting and uh, it sets a good basis for now to um, go a little bit deeper on the Ministry's programs, uh, objectives, uh, core roles and strategic planning for the future in trying to bring about um, industry growth, uh, drive reforms to improve business and uh, empower SMEs, uh, particularly um, young and uh, young <coughs> entrepreneurs. So that, that was the basis of the discussions. You know, now the elections is over, uh, so naturally some of the investments that were probably being held up, uh, business people will start looking at uh, whether they go ahead with those elections. Uh, we'll certainly do everything we can to make those happen. Um, you know, there, I know that there's some big projects that are planning to come online soon. So again, you know, our job is to make those happen and uh, start uh, uh, the economy moving. Eh? Um, it's clear that uh, you know, obviously we're still recovering from COVID. Uh, so you know, we, you know, Minister was saying that. In terms of uh, visitor arrivals, we're 65 percent of uh, visitor arrivals. So, Mr. Ngawoka would have the task of uh, trying to get us back to 100 percent, um, and then uh, naturally from that, uh, you know, the uh, uh, you know we'd like to see other parts of the economy, uh, particularly in terms of uh, diversification. And push that uh, along. Yeah. Yeah. We actually had the trade commissioners dial in from offshore. Uh, for some of them, it was just uh, Christmas, so I apologized at the end uh, about uh, dragging them away from Christmas. But uh, uh, this government is all about uh, hitting the ground running and trying to, to get things done. Eh? So uh, we intend to move as quickly as we can to settle in uh, because there's a big job ahead of us. Mm -hmm.